Welcome to the Wisecrack and Warframe, and today it's time for the Dread. The Dread is a bow you can get from the Stalker, and it does primarily slash damage. So, our first build will be a slash damage build with a lot of critical chance with the fang fuselade mod and the sawtooth clip you get some extra slash damage and with point strike vital sense and critical delay you up your critical chance and your critical multiplier and now you have 50 percent chance for a red crit and because this is a slash damage build it is especially great against the infested so our first mission to try out this build is a defense mission against the infestation and as you can see this bow can fire pretty fast but if you draw your bow all the way back you do higher damage the farther you are away from a enemy the higher damage you do when you hit that enemy The infestation was no match for my slash build, but now it's time for a radiation and viral build. Very easy, and this time it's not 150% of critical chance, but 125. But that is still 25% for a red crit. And as you can see, split chamber, heavy caliber, and serration are always equipped. Radiation and viral damage does great against the grenier, but also grenier bosses and towel ragger is one of those so here we are we are gonna kill this boss with our bow filled with a radiation and viral damage so come here you dirty bitch first we explode a little bit of his face and now it's time to slash it open with my beautiful dread bow and there you go it was I think four shots maybe three but he's dead ladies and gentlemen that is how it's supposed to be now let's continue with a void defense mission but first the new loka is attacking me so let's kill them all
was a lot of killing but now it's time for a corrosive build a corrosive build with again 125 percent of critical chance corrosive damage is great against the grenier it does great against ferrite armor and against all kinds of grenier bullshit so we go and do a interception mission on draco against the grenier and kill them all with the corrosive build There we go, all Grenier are dead, and now it's time to fight the beast, the new beast called the Juggernaut Behemoth, only with the Dread. As you can see, there are a lot of critical hits, but the hits that I do aren't very high, just 100 damage isn't very much. So it's time for a new tactic. And then I saw this, his head opens from the top side, it looks a little bit like a vagina with teeth, so yeah, but then again we found another weak spot on the juggernaut behemoth, so now we can do higher damage by shooting his belly and shooting the top of his head or his fontanelle. There you go ladies and gentlemen, a three way build for your dread bow. I hope you enjoyed it, check me out on all my other videos and until then, adios. Dash polarity and an innate truth effect. This weapon is only available from the Arbiters of Hexes. It costs 100,000 points, so you better save up.